Hey, welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Playing me some Centipede here, the uh, arcade original from Atari 1980 here on Vol, my main machine. And there's a reason why. Uh, it actually came up as a topic recently, and I just thought, you know, I want to do a quick video about this because um, I was watching one of Alan Stewart, uh, Main Meister's uh, streams, and he got talking about how he didn't really like the cutesy aesthetic a lot of Japanese games have from back in the day. And I remember thinking, you know, uh, Centipede is actually one of the first cutesy, sort of whimsical type games I ever encountered. And I was asking Alan, you know, well, if you don't like cutesy games, do you like Centipede? Of course, he thought, well, it's a, it's a classic. Of course, we all love Centipede. Um, so I just wanted to very quickly do a quick uh, play of Centipede and just talk about how it was really my first encounter with whimsy in a video game. Um, up to this point, all games were kind of aliens or spaceships or cowboys or whatever. So when I when I saw this machine, admittedly this is the main version, but you know, the arcade original, I played it and I thought, what the heck? We're in some Magic Kingdom shooting mushrooms? That'll never take off as an idea for a video game. Not to realize that uh, Nintendo would take that idea years later. Um, oh, get the scorpion. Oh no, I died. Um, so, yeah, what's weird is, like, your character that you play in this game is... Now, I thought I had read somewhere, I, I researched before filming, uh, I thought you were playing a little, like, an elf character with a magic wand. Turns out that's not true. According to Wikipedia, uh, this was, um, you're, you're, you're a little sort of an insect head, and you're called the Bug Blaster. But they are darts that you're firing at a centipede in this kind of Magic Kingdom idea. So, yeah, very close to what I had in my head of this idea that this is a, a little magic uh, wand that you're using and you're defeating mis uh, sort of whimsical creatures in this almost Alice in Wonderland type of a setting. Um, now, this was actually, now I don't know for sure, but this was one of the first video games known to be programmed by a woman. Donna Bailey, I believe her name is, and she and Ed Logg, who had done Lunar Lander and Asteroids and all the other classics, they made this for Atari. And I just thought, yeah, this is, let's have another game here. Um, this is the kind of game that, you know, would be famous later on for being appealing to people of all types, like Pac-Man being another really good example of um, the kind of game that's, you know, kind of got a cartoony aesthetic and it's something that um, both men and women would want to play. Uh, Nolan Bushnell from Atari had many had said for many years that the big appeal of Pong and various other games that Atari was trying to make was that both men and women would want to play and it was, you know, a way to have something uh, social to talk about in a bar situation or whatever. So Centipede is really one of the first games that I can remember that was kind of that, uh, that aesthetic of you bright colors and uh, almost cartoony stuff before I ever saw Pac-Man. Uh, this was the game that kind of set the tone for me for, well, not everything has to be spaceships and gritty and aliens from space and, uh, you know, starships that are destroying asteroids. You can sometimes have something light and colorful and kind of whimsical. That's Centipede. All right, so I just wanted to do a very quick video. It came up as a subject and I thought, right, I'm going to actually show myself playing some Centipede because it's related to what I was talking about earlier. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.